And here are your hosts, bringing you a sensation of amazing proportion. Proportion. Give me something else. I don't know. Okay, that's your job. <laughs> uh, you know what? We'll just trade. No. <laughs> <laughs> Because you'll be hiding under the table. You're welcome. If you I'm having a conversation. Take away, Lisa. Right good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So um, I don't like I don't, I don't want to look at me. Okay. Um, <laughs> welcome. We're glad you're here. Uh, we're glad to be here. Yes, we are. Okay. Um, I'm Alisa. And I'm Sue. Okay, good. Now that we got that established. Yes. Um, okay, Sue yes. and Isaac, mm -hmm. hit it. You guys can sing. Oh, I don't know. Okay, let's see. Good morning. 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 Do you? <laughs> oh, don't you love Isaac being in the yeah, middle of it? I like it. I like yes, it. Yes, yes. He's very uh, theatrical. Mm -hmm. Theatrical. You <laughs> like it. On Saturday, we get to go to Phoenix Ooh. for the FAF launch. I think it'll be fun to have a little bit of sunshine. Oh, there's that too. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, the FAF Creative Icon 2 is being launched. Mm. Aren't you loving daylight savings time? We just, I love having the extra As much daylight. as I don't like the change of time at this point in the change, I so love the light later in the day. I'm more productive. Let's see. This, I, Sue, I'll hold these so she doesn't mm -hmm. hit me. Um, she doesn't hit. I'm just teasing. Um, <laughs> I may push you off your chair. <laughs> <gasps> wow. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't. That came out really easily, though. I'm just wondering... <laughs> There's a little something no. inside of you that we didn't know was there. No, I'm, but I don't hit. That's true. <laughs> she <But>. just shoves. <laughs> okay. Um, so Sue was not here last week when, um, well, all of our order did, did not come. So it is coming. It's in transit. The OESB Lux Vinyl. Mm -hmm. So these are the two new colors. The other two new colors are coming in still. Mm -hmm. So and we'll show you when mm -hmm. when we get them. When we get them, we'll show them all pretty. again. But yeah, so mm -hmm. these guys are here. Can I just show you really quick what I've been working on? Absolutely. Well, so um, this little bag is this was uh, use your words, Alisa. Um, I took a, a class. To, to work with programming um, a FAF creative icon um, to be able to learn. It has a lot of mm, creators in it. There's like sequence creator, shape creator, app, applique creator, and stitch sequencing. So there's all different tools in there we can use. And FAF is and one that's of- that's on the machine, not on- That's the on the machine, not software. Yeah. Because, wow, that's a whole nother story. Um, but I thought that I didn't like software. So there's a lot of really fun, creative things that we can do. Um, and so I was really playing with that with the fab, having a lot of fun and really learning the machine. There's um, the decorative stitches that you pull in, but on the background, you put your trims and your, um, you know, I know people used to save all their thread tails mm -hmm. and all those things. Because you can do some really fun things and just put them down in here. These were some silk flowers that I took apart and put in there. Um, this is some trim that I was able to find at um, Millen. Um, and they're Rick Rack and some other ribbons. But And then just layering a piece of tulle on top and doing your decorative stitching. You can do that on any machine. Mm -hmm. um, but sometimes you have to take a class or have some direction to, mm -hmm. or I do, to think about doing those different things. So this is the applique creator in the FAF. Um, then I added the fonts. Um, and then of course you guys recognize this. This is the um, Kimberbell little B from Spring Shower. I thought mm -hmm. that was really fun. These are built in stitches that live in the embroidery side of our luminaires. So on the FAF we can take all of the sewing machine stitches and sew them out on the embroidery side. But with the the um, 
Baby Lock and Brother, they have selected stitches that are there. There's a lot, though. There are a lot. How many, like, oh, is there over 200? Or am I exaggerating? No, but there is quite a few. There's there There was a lot to choose from. So what you can do, and I would encourage you guys just to go in and play. You don't even have to stitch anything out, but just mm -hmm. play with your machine. You can add designs to the left. You can add designs to the right. You can group them and slide them. You can marry them. In. Mm. So anyway, it was just fun to go in there and play with some of those different things. So that's what I did here. So my daughter is in nursing school, and she I made a bag for her. And so her girlfriends are like, oh, we need one too. So uh, <laughs> for the, the girls that she's going through that are in her cohort, I was going to make them. So you'll never guess who this one's for. Um, <laughs> so... I woke up this morning to get this finished. Um, I watched a little YouTube thing about doing the um, the zipper tab at the top, and I just think that makes these corners so much nicer. Mm. And I like to box it. So anyway, this was really, really fun. Um, I just wanted, last week we talked about these guys. Oh. And it's funny because we sold out of a lot of them. <laughs> So somebody, somebody's listening to us. Um, this is the Janome one. Um, some of the machines are coming with this, but we can order it for you. You can see here that there's two different thicknesses. Um, and what you'll do is you slide this underneath your presser foot. Let me grab a sole here. Um, and... As your needle stitches in the center there, you rest this from the back and it makes your presser foot level. So we talked about this last week. Sometimes when we're sewing, our foot is uh, raised, like it's going over, it's trying to climb. And it doesn't, it's not able to get up and over because the pressure's in the back. So if you lower your foot on top of this, that keeps your foot level and you'll find it really works well. Um, Baff and Viking have this uh, gray one. There's a lighter gray that's more like this color. But again, there's two different thicknesses. The Faff and Viking one has a slot there that you can use to insert a needle. And I don't know if we can, can we see the flat side there, Isaac? Um, in the hole, there's a flat side. So when you put your needle in there, the flat side can go there and then you can insert it into the machine and, and tighten it off. And you're not twirling off. the needle. It stays. Yeah, and it's, it's easier to grip it and hang mm -hmm. on to it, right? Um, so these are available in stock. I use them a lot sewing through some mm -hmm. of the different thicknesses here. Um, I also use these doing my notebook cover. I'm really, really proud of my, oh, I didn't bring the other um, paper in, or it's not paper, the thing I stitched out. So this is the other project that I worked on, and I have a friend who um, has lost her husband, and this was uh, one of his favorite songs. So I put this out, and I digitized it, and nice. I was really, really proud of myself. I was trying to do it on the machine, which you can do, but I thought, this is the first time in my whole life ever that I thought maybe I'd want software. Mm. And so um, I was able to get the software and, and get in there and play um, and type that all in there. And it turned out just like I wanted it to. I love this fabric. I think Kristen's getting some more. This is a metallic, um, I don't know the name of it. I think it's a Maywood fabric, but it was in different colors. If, did you see it over there? It's really, really pretty. I don't know what you're talking about. It's not the same as what you have. I'm it sure. had feel the oh, texture. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I. Okay. I mean, not to say that no, you no, don't, but, but it's different I, yeah, than I that. I do have some because I bought it for a different line. They have um, silver, is, or they had a silver and a blue champagne. and some other. Yeah. Which so it really. Uh, it turned out nice, awesome. and and I did do. Um, I filled a whole hoop with the quilting, so this is like I don't know anything about software, and my mom's like I can't help you because I have a Mac, and so I just figured this out all by myself. So I don't know if anything's right, but guess what? It worked. You can you do your hoop and then software, and I put in a quilt fill, and then I was able to stitch it. I mean, it's not rocket science, but you, you just you need to know who you're talking to about whatever. 
What? But you may not know anything about software, but you know a lot, and you've learned a lot. With Play, playing, playing with, with the this. staff and doing these things using all of those creators has really, really prepared me for the way mm -hmm. how things work. Yes, you're and absolutely right. Yeah, so because of before this, you wouldn't have been able. To, no, you would have actually. She would have been using other words. Yes. Um, more so than you did on this one because that that came out beautiful. Yeah, I'm super. I'm really, really pleased with it. Um. And then I did make piping. If I had to redo it, I wouldn't put the joining right there. But you know what? It's all good. Mm -hmm. um, so that's just a little composition uh, notebook cover for her. The one thing, if you have a faff or a Viking, and you can speak to it, because I think I forget about it even on the Luminaire. But with the faff and the Viking, and you're doing small things like this, you want to turn off your jump stitch. So I had to go through and cut all of these, um, but it looks nice. Also, um, with the Faf and the Viking, I would not use Active Stitch and Deluxe Stitch. I turned that off and you just use regular tension. But mm. um, turning off those cut jump stitches will really, really help. It's not There's not enough space between each one and they do it. It just makes it really, really messy. Um, so this feels really flat and it, it, it did a good job. Amy wants to see the, show the inside of the folder open. To be honest with you, I had a piece of embroidery that I was going to put a pocket in here, but I couldn't find it. So after I got the book done, guess what? I found it. So I just, I had to get it done for the show. For the show. For the show. For the show. So let's talk about walking boots. Okay. I had no idea that there were so many different kinds of walking feet for um the baby lock brother what did you say there's five there's five okay okay so there is a basic and this is our basic or generic it looks like a genomi one yes okay it is but it's um, low shank it'll fit on both machines yes. so that's mm -hmm. why we say kind of generic yeah. but this one can i show them is open toe yep but that's not what we're going to talk about so you talk about mm -hmm. how this works and i'm just going to so this is kind of just a, a generic type of a walking foot. It's a pretty nice walking foot. And you put that little lever up on top of the needle bar um, and you screw it in to the on side. This side. Uh -huh. So you put this over like the needle clamp. It's the needle bar, but it comes down where it's, the clamp is, this, it comes out. Yeah. yeah, where the screw is for the, the needle. needle clamp. Um, and, and then you have to take your ankle off. And you screw screw it on mm -hmm. right here. And on most machines, you don't want to take the whole screw out. You just want to loosen it enough to get around. With this one, you can because it'll yeah. wrap and kind of hug. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, but this is what goes on when the needle goes up and down. Yeah. So it moves the top, the top fabric, and your feed dogs you uh, move the bottom. Um, but then uh, after this one, there is another one. Um, it's a deluxe, and the deluxe is similar to this, um, but you unscrew um, on the side, and you can change out these feet. And then there is the dynamic. Right? And the dynamic came out a, two years ago? Yes, yes. It's relatively it's new. It's relatively new. Goes around that needle, whatever you call the that The needle thing. clamp. The screw. needle clamp. Yeah. I um, misplaced the foot in my bag. I didn't. You guys want to see this. So it comes with... It comes with three. I thought it came with two. 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 So two. a regular standard sole mm -hmm. and a open toe, right? Mm -hmm. But wait, there's more. Yeah. <laughs> you can buy, there's like three uh, or another one. So the standard foot, the open toe foot, come with the dynamic foot, and then you can purchase the... Um, a, this is a quarter inch, and then they have a... a stitch in the ditch, stitch which in the ditch. actually has a, uh, a blade right in the center. Yep, and this one has a blade for the... To the for the quarter inch. This and one's heavier, um, and it just feels more stout, too. And it 
is more stout. And it has more pull, it, right? Yes. It There is a significant difference between, as far as me using it, uh -huh. um, between this one and that one. Okay. Because when you're doing a tile scene and you're putting it together, there's a whole lot of Oh, a lot of stuff thickness going and it's on. stiff. Uh -huh. right, right. It doesn't want to bend. But um, so one here, one there, and I, I took this off and it, that stayed on. <laughs> yeah, so that one you probably <laughs> will never see again. No, it'll be a sample for this. <laughs> um, then um, the, the next one is the Move It foot, which if anybody has had a class with me or any, I love that foot. It is fabulous. When I first saw it, it was wonky, it's so big. And, and I just call it the tractor because it reminds me of a tractor because of this rubber belt. <laughs> it's kind of a big brother to this. Yes. So this is new as of last year? It just came out in um, August. Okay, this year. so Sue's going to talk to us about this. But those of you that have a Solaris or a Luminaire or a Crescendo or the Unity, the Dream Machine or the Destiny had the traditional Move It foot. Mm -hmm. The upgraded version of the Crescendo now comes, it's, it's called the Chorus, um, and Brother has their counterpart also, uh, now come with, they call this guy the Compact mm -hmm. Move It Foot. So talk to us about this. Yeah, and the reason it's compact is it's about an inch around less than the other foot because if you'd use the other foot with some more lofty batting, or a thicker fabric, sometimes it would bog down underneath the foot. It would go through fine here. And this one sits up higher, right? So you have more yeah, clearance underneath, yeah, even it's, when the foot's down. Mm -hmm, even when the foot's down. So this one, and this one also, unlike the um, other Move It foot, this is engaged as a walking foot, not a walking foot. A regular foot, walking foot, regular foot. And let me, I'm going to take the foot off of it here. And I just want to show you guys uh, up close because those that don't have it don't know. This is, so you saw that there was the teeth on the other one that went up and down like this one. This one has this rubber <laughs> um, belt. And if we do this, let's see if I can do it. Um, when this is engaged, it's going to move and feed and then disengage. It's up and out of the way. I don't know if you could see that, but... Um, that's why I call it a tractor foot. Uh, also, in this upgrade, it allows you to go in reverse, which in most of the walking feet, you can't do that. But it also has 36 decorative stitches that you can use with the walking foot, which is unusual. We're going to switch brands here. We're, we're going to talk about Janome. We're because each company has, has its own mm -hmm. version of um, a walking mm -hmm. foot. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And once you get up into, with Janome, like the Skyline S6 and above, then you can use their AccuFeed Flex mm -hmm. system. Um, and, I, I, and I love these. This is my favorite one. This one is on my machine like 90% uh -huh. of the time. Um, because for piecing and then quilting, whatever. So, um, and these two have um, the snap off feet. It, this one, <laughs> this one has skids, I guess I call them things. This plugs into the back of your machine. So the feeding of the walking foot part is mechanical. It's not based on the needle going up and down. The machine tells it to move. So it does that in tandem with your feed dogs on the bottom. Um, this yeah. one is really, really nice, and you can see how it'll line up exactly. So this will do that same box stitch on top as on bottom. Um, but we love, I love this. There's different soles available. Um, this is for... Do you want to run away? I know. So um, there's the ditch, stitch in the ditch, the quarter inch, and there's an open toe for the Janome. Um, Where's the, this is the one okay, the and this is the standard, the standard foot. So all of these work there. Um, there's also a straight stitch 
soul, and I didn't bring that one out. And a lot of people don't know this because we want to sew in center. We like that, but left needle position is the best in the, in the history house. in the history of sewing machines. Mm -hmm. um, that's like the sweet spot for everything, right? Mm -hmm. And so left needle position gives you the best straight straight stitch. So the FAP FAP has a built-in walking foot um, and they call it they had the first patent on it on their machines I think in the late 60s um, and it was called the walking foot then somewhere along the line somebody decided they needed to change that to the IDT and that standard standard I teach English also <laughs> um, stands for um, integrated dual traction and that is a built-in walking foot that swings down from the back um, and it has a feed dog that feeds right on top of um, your feed dog, the center one, and that feeds your fabric through simultaneously. The patent on that has run out. Mm -hmm. um, and so Bernina also has a built-in walking foot on quite a few of their models. Oh, that's um, and Bernina also has a walking foot attachment. And sometimes, and that's one of the questions that I want to ask is, why do we need a built-in walking foot? And then why would I also need an attachment? And so, but like we've learned with baby lock and mm -hmm. brother that there's five different ones. So there's got to be a reason. So I'm going to learn about that. Um, and then Viking on their top of the line machine, um, the Viking Epic 2, that also has the built-in walking foot. It does? The, the Epic 2 does. Huh. Not the Epic 1, just okay, the Epic just 2. Okay. And Viking couldn't make it be the IDT. So the Viking is called IDF. And that's integrated dual feed. Um, but it's the same on both of those machines. So Bernina, Viking, and FAF on their machines have that built-in walking foot. You're only going to find it on the Viking site on the top of the line machine. But you can... Um, so then, add an attachment to your other machine. Anyway, have a great week. Enjoy your sewing. Yes, All do. Right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.